Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Now I have for you some positions from the Monte Carlo World Championship, which I was just at, and I made it to the last 16 in the main bracket. Um, it is a fantastic tournament and I would certainly recommend anyone to go. I played some of the world's best players. Everyone is there. There is a great sense of community. Mark and his Galaxy team do a fantastic job running it with Arda, the TD. Um, it's a wonderful place to go and play backgammon and see all the backgammon luminaries in the room. And I very much enjoyed it and hope to be there again next year. So I have used seven positions from matches. I put them all from White's perspective to make the positions easier to follow. You can pause the video and think about what you would do. And then after the position, I put some brief explanation as to the correct play. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, this first one is from playing Michihito Kagiyama in The Last Chance, or Michi, as he's more fondly known. Obviously a great experience, and here White has a 6-5 to play. Now the right move here is to play 16-2-5. Now White is 21 pips down before the roll, so wants to keep the man back for additional contact. So you may have chosen to run here with 24 to 13, but that would reduce the zone of contact. Now, of course, here fours do look duplicated by making the running play, but this is an illusion and it is better to stay back for contact because rolls such as 3-1 and 6-4 play pretty poorly for green after making the slotting play. And also this importantly slots a point which you do want to make as white on a subsequent roll because then if you get a hit later in the game, you'd rather have a stronger board to contain that checker. So let's look at the next position. Now this was the match against Victor Ashkenazi. I took him all the way to DMP to try to get into the last eight but he won that match and it was a very exciting match and a great experience to play him, of course. And here White has a 5-4 to play. Now here, 15 to six looks like the automatic play because you are really up in the race by 50 plus pips and making 15 to six you also duplicate threes for green to hit and also to cover the blot on his five points. But here the better play is 13 to nine, 13 to eight, because you would rather that green break an anchor to hit you than hit with the spares off his midpoint. Also, of course, if you are missed, you have another builder to make your five point. And even if you are hit, green has a blot in his board to pick up and the 15 point will be useful to have for connectivity as a landing point later in the game if things go wrong. So there we are. The correct move is 39, 13, 8. This one was against Benjamin Lund, another very strong grandmaster. And White has a 4-1 to play. Notice our White is currently on the bar. Now this is an unusual early position and here it's better to keep that blot on the 11 point and move up to the 20 point. Now by keeping the blot on the 11 point you duplicate 6-4 for green to hit and also make the bar. And also stepping up to the 20 is low risk because green's point 8 point is stripped. Also importantly by making this play you do not duplicate your own threes as would be the case with the inferior play of bar 21, 11, 10, where threes would be duplicated all over the place. And again, you can set that position up and look at it in more detail on XG. 
So you want to duplicate numbers for your opponent, but not duplicate numbers for yourself. And this is why it's better to play bar 20. Here I came up against a very strong Turkish player, Aykut Uzul. Um, White has a 4-2 to play. Now, here you have several options, and it does require some close deliberation to go through the candidate plays and rule out the worst options. Now, the best play is 22 to 18 and 6 to 4, but we can rule out some of the poorer options. Firstly, hitting on the 9 point and leaving, is a, leaving a blot is wrong when you are up in the race by 16 pips after the roll. And second, Making the four point does look nice in your home board to have a three point board, but doing so would strip your eight and your six points, so it would be a very inefficient use of checkers. So, ruling out those two plays, making a point or hitting, that leaves the tidy 22 18, six to four. That reduces the volatility when you are ahead, escapes a back checker and then simply waits to see what happens next. So simply go through the options, rule out the poor options, and then that will bring you towards the best play, which you can see here. Here I came up against Morton Home, and White has a 5-1 to play. This was in the Fighters, second chance after getting knocked out the main. White has a 5-1 to play. Okay, here we come in on the 20 points because of course we want to make the advanced anchor and we also slot the five points taking advantage of Green's weak home board. Now here of course there is a huge upside if missed because then we are able to make the five prime and the problem with playing 10 to nine with the ace is that we duplicate fours for ourselves, which isn't so good as mentioned on a previous position. By playing 10 to nine, then we have fours to make the five prime and fours to make the advanced anchor. So it's simply better to make the slotting play here, take a risk and then see what happens. And of course, green also has a blot in board for us to hit back unless green rolls a perfecter to hit and cover. So here we are. Another position from the Victor Ashkenazi match where white has a double three to play. Now the right move is to make two points here to make the four point and the three point, anything else would be a blunder. And of course here it's a tricky choice between how many points to make and which order do you make the, do you just make the four point and then have the strong five prime or do you make two points and have the broken prime? So here of course, making the four point board gives green five more dancing rolls than having a three point board, which is significant because that gives white tempo to escape or step up the lone back checker and then move to an efficient doubling position. And of course, even if green comes in with an escaping 6-1 or 5-2, white does have strong eight field control to re-hit. So simply here, you make the four point board to gain more dancing numbers, which is significant and it gives you the tempo to escape the back checker. Another one from Michi, white to play a double one. Now the right move here is to play all four checkers down to the 12 point, anything else would be a blunder. Now of course here it's very tempting to make the 11 point because you do not want green to roll a double six but of course that's only one roll in 36 and you do not need to be scared of that kind of coming up on the dice. Now being up in the race by 17 pips after the roll 
you do not need to create unnecessary blocking points which may be difficult to clear. Playing 13 to 11 twice would mean having several stripped points in the outfield with only two checkers on each, including the 11 point being a problematic six points away. Now these points, these TMPs, too many points, would be a big liability and most likely result in you leaving shots on a subsequent roll due to poor flexibility of the stripped points. And of course, not a good idea against Green's superior home board. So simply play them all down to a 12 point, create less contact and bring them in. Of course, if a pip count was reversed, and you were trailing in the match, then you would want to make the blocking point. But here, when you're leading, blocking points can be difficult to clear and leave shots later on. So there we are, seven positions from the Monte Carlo World Championship that came up over the board. I had a great experience. I met many of my backgammon heroes. Um, definitely recommend going next year. They have a Masters, they have an Intermediate, they have double DMP tournaments, women's tournaments, all sorts of things going on there. A great sense of community and camaraderie and probably the best tournament in the world. So hope to see you there next year. Take care. Goodbye.